Some of you are just gonna do a simple fraction here and get your percentage that way. That is fine, I'm gonna end up doing the same thing. But with any sort of uh, percentage question, I know that they do get much, much harder and I have formulas that are gonna help me when they do. So let's just set a good habit. Anytime there's a percentage question, I'm gonna be thinking about my two open formulas. One just looks like the word open, the other has a little one plus or minus piece there. Now the one plus or minus is when we have a percent change, a percent increase, percent decrease. I don't see that here. Of 300,000 paper clips, 234,000 are size large. What percentage of the paper clips are size large? And that of is important because that's also a word I associate with the, of the basic open formula. So we're not gonna use this, we're gonna use this. And the O, P, and N stand for some pretty simple things. The O is the original amount, and that's also kind of what the of is pointing to. So the of is pointing to the, the number of paper clips. So how many of the paper clips? There are 300,000 paper clips. The P is the percent, so we're gonna find that. And then the N is the new value, the result. So in that case, that's the 234,000. So many of you are gonna do exactly what I need to do here right, is we're going to divide the two numbers, and basically it's a, any percentage is a fraction where the denominator is 100. So that's kind of the most simple way to do it. Now, the reason I don't do it that way in this case is, um, I, again, I know it's gonna get harder, and I wanna get used to the open formulas, and, uh, you know, it, I, it's important to remember what the starting point is, the original and the new. That's where it gets tricky. But now, I'm just gonna go to the calculator, and I'm also smart enough to just be like, these zeros don't matter. So 234 divided by 300 is 0 0.78. And here we also see something that's important to remember about these open formulas is the P, the percentage, is going to look like a decimal in the formula. That's very common in math that the percentage is, we use it in our calculations as a decimal. So we should get comfortable with that. And we should also get comfortable with moving it back into a percentage by just moving the decimal place. So 0 0.78 becomes 78%. And there you go. Nice and easy, but remember percentages on the SAT get very, very tricky very fast. So this is not a tricky one, but getting comfortable with this open formula is very important for later.